Good evening, everyone. My wife, Agnes, and I would like to welcome and thank you for joining us on this special night. As you may know, Alexandria is our firstborn grandchild, and therefore she holds a very special place in our hearts. She is beautiful, smart, kind, and most importantly, loving. Alex, Agnes and I have come to realize that she is also lucky. Lucky to have met a man like you to share her life with. While everyone here agrees that Alexandra is effortlessly the life of any party that's lucky enough to lure her out of the beautiful cocoon of animals and Netflix she so often finds herself in, we also know she's an equally devoted friend and confidant. Anything I know about being a good friend, daughter, granddaughter, and sister, I learned from Alexandra. One of the kindest and low-key funniest people I've ever met, Alex is fiercely loyal to Alexandra in a quiet, steady way that perfectly tempers her effervescent personality. Alex is the embodiment of gentle strength, and in my opinion, he is the perfect man for the job. We hope that you two continue to cherish each other and that your love and respect for one another grows each day. We pray that God will bless you with a lifetime of happiness and health. Now let's raise a glass to Alexandra and Alex. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> Oh my. You look beautiful. Thank you, Dad. Are you okay? Yes. You I'm, and Mom are so I'm fine. You look very handsome. Oh, thank you. Oh, you look amazing. Thank I you. I love you so much. You too. Beautiful. <laughs> I love you so much. Too. How are you? You made it. You you're made here. It. You did you're run. <laughs> no, no. Never, never, never. What do you think? You look absolutely stunning. You look very handsome. Thank you. I love you. I don't know if I should hug you with this yeah, dress or. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, fancy pants. I know, right? So many compliments. You're mic'd up. Hello. My am mic'd up. You would. You would do that. Today's our day. Today's our day. <laughs>。Alexandra and Alex, the church shares your joy today and warmly welcomes you together with your family and your friends. In the presence of God, our Father, today you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day and fulfill every one of your prayers.
is truly an amazing day. You may not know this, but I have been a part of my sister's secret wedding Pinterest boards since the beginning of high school. And so I love that today this finally ends. And Alex, this is equally an amazing and huge day for you too. I can't imagine how happy you are because today I'm going to put your phone number in my contacts. <laughs> Alexandra, you will never know how much I love you, and nothing makes me happier than seeing you with a partner who truly deserves you. I'm not crying, you are. <laughs> and Alex, even having known you only a short while, I see your strength of character every day. <laughs> and know you're deserving of all of the love in the world. And I am so grateful that starting today, I can call you a brother. Since it is your intention now to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, I ask you now to face each other and join your right hands and declare consent before God and his church. I, Alex, take you, Alexandra, to be my wife. I, Alex, take you, Alexandra, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Alexandra, take you, Alex, to be my husband. I, Alexandra, take you, Alex, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to in you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Look how we're here. Something that might help you. I need a lot. <laughs> it's a handkerchief. Oh. So if you cry again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Please. I'll give you a far away hug. Love you guys. Thank you so incredibly much for being here, being part of this process, being part of the wedding part of my life and that was interesting. Like, these behind me don't necessarily encompass everything that I'm trying to say, but they are a small token of, of my gratitude to each of you. So first, we want to welcome everyone to this sort of uh, Wizard of Oz version of a rehearsal dinner. <laughs> And especially, we want to welcome the Kim and Panicello families. This has been a long time planning, and we are absolutely thrilled that the moment has arrived. To Alexandra goes our love, our joy, and our admiration. I do want to say, however, as the parents of the groom, we have a few things we would like to say as well <laughs> about Alex, that we are incredibly proud of the man that he has become. We admire his integrity, his strength of character, his honesty, and his sensitivity towards others. He means the world to us. This little takeaway, the vendor swears that this little pink heart, if planted in a little bit of soil and given a decent amount of water, will sprout flowers. And I just thought, you know, there's something to that because in a marriage, you've got two partners who are gonna come together to make it flourish, to make it bloom. And as it says, let love grow, and that's my wish for you.
Alexandra, we think you are getting quite a guy. And getting to know you over the past two years, we know we are getting quite a daughter-in-law. Our son has had the incredible good fortune to meet a wonderful woman who's going to love him, care for him, and wrap your arms around him. And as his parents, we couldn't ask for more. This has been something I've thought about for years, my brother getting married. I have told my brother this many times throughout our lives together, that he is my inspiration. And I don't know that he actually ever fully believed me, <laughs> but it's true. you would meet someone who inspired you as much as you inspire others. And it's clear that you have found that in Alexandra. Looking at you two today, I mean, it just warms my heart. And looking at you, Alex, especially, I know you're my sister, but being the best man has been a privilege and an honor, and I can't wait to be your brother for the rest of our lives. And Alexandra, I'm very happy for you, especially that today is all about you, and deservedly so. And so I just want to raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Hay and my future brother. And may the Lord bless these rings which you give to one another as a sign of your love and fidelity. Alexandra received this ring. Alexandra received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alex received this ring. Alex received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You're a husband and wife. <laughs> Alexandra and I have many special bonds. We both like Gossip Girls. I taught her to drive on the expressway and I brought her to Britney Spears' garbage in Bogalusa. She cleaned my entire office and made it all organized. So Alex, you're getting the best of the best. And I told Alex last night, you know, she is my heart and as long as he loves her and cherishes her today like she does, I love Alex. He will be here to watch out for her and to protect someone I dearly love with all my heart. Alexandra could be like a sister to me. I've really enjoyed getting to know Alex. He's always a gentleman, such a good sport, which I think is so important for being with Alexandra. 
We usually go around and say what we love most about Alexandra every year on her birthday. That was really an eye-opening moment when Alex could, on like their third or fourth date, roll with getting up in front of all of her best friends and her family to talk about what he loved about her most. really incredible for us as a family to come together. Alex, Alexandra, thank you for being part of our family. Your family is, I mean, truly gonna enhance the value that we have in our family, and we appreciate you being part of our family. Alexandra, I remember when I held you in my arms for the first time, I thought, wow, I cannot believe this perfect baby girl is mine. And what has felt like a blip in time, you have gone from the baby totally dependent on her mom phase to the walking down the aisle phase. Alex, with all my heart, I can honestly say to you that I could not have handpicked a better man. Your character, your inner strength, kindness, and your overall just easygoing good nature, those are all qualities that this mother-in-law prayed one day her future son-in-law would possess. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra and Alex, I want you to look around the room. Every person in this room made the choice to come out and celebrate the love you share for one another. So cheers to the two of you. Yeah, I can hear her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, hi, baby. How are you? You look beautiful. Thank you. you look absolutely. Hello. Amazing. Yep. <laughs> Got the watch. I'm love not wearing it, mine. It doesn't I, match. That's fine. That's you fine. like it? I love it. Yay. I love it. I love you. And it fits. It does fit. It fits very well. Love you too. Alexander gives me and all of us permission to relax and be ourselves and reminds us to slow down and enjoy the moment. In a world that's constantly changing, all of us who love Alexander know that all we have to do is show up, often unannounced, and soon we'll be laughing hysterically at her passionate karaoke singing. But that being said, what makes this night so special for me is having the honor to witness her marriage to a man who I know takes care of her the way that she takes care of others. One thing that amazes me is how different you two are. 
Alex, you stop her from adopting every dog in the world. <laughs> and Alexandra, you challenge him to grow and be more outgoing every day. And witnessing your dynamic, I see how perfectly you two balance out each other. And I think that's what makes you perfect. I'm so grateful, Alexander, for what you bring to my brother and to our family. And so, with open arms, we welcome you, and we're so grateful to have you part of us, and thank you. I'd like to officially take this moment, Alex, to let you know you've been hired. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. <laughs> and I can't adequately express how grateful I am that you found each other. Also very grateful that finally we all get to gather tonight in support of their love and the beautiful life that they're building together. Alex, I know this comes as no surprise to you, but sitting down to write these vows was not an easy task for me. There are so many things that I want to share with you, so many promises I want to make to you, and truly an infinite amount of reasons why I love you. Before we met, I honestly had no idea that it was possible to be loved the way you love me, and I certainly did not know that I had the capacity to love someone as much as I love you. Alex, you're my whole heart. You're everything I could have ever dreamed of in a partner and in a father for our future children. And in you, I found my home. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you by my side. I love you very much. Alexandra. It is a unique challenge to express through vows exactly how much I love you, how much you mean to me, and how lucky I feel to be your husband. A challenge because I'm afraid words will not do it justice, which is ironic given that I was quite firm in the need for us to share these vows in the first place. <laughs> Ultimately, I vow to never let my love for you end. I pray that I move on before you, as I do not want to live in a world of which you are not a part. And know, Alexandra Hay, that whatever lies me on, I gotta be there holding it in my hand, waiting for you to join me.
Alexander likes to think that special means first place. <laughs> Alexandra, we love you dearly, and all our grandchildren are number one in our eyes. <laughs> Alex, you have truly become part of the family. Your morals, your ethics, we see who you are. I'm so proud of you and what you have done. I think about cats coming into the family and just like the similarities and the bonds. It's such a great fit. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm so happy to be here and to be sharing this moment with you both. Congratulations. I'd like to propose a toast to Alex and Alexandra. I don't really know how to end a toast, but I love you guys so much, and we all do. Thank you so much. I ask you now to join me as we give praise and thanks to God for Mr. and Mrs. Alexander McKeith Hay. Action. Action. Oh. Aunt Debbie, oh. look at you. Oh, wow. Oh my wow. gosh, she's flexible. Wait, what? Oh, my <laughs> <God. laughs> no videos of me with drinks in my hand. Okay. <laughs> Don't lose it, and it's not yours. Most I have we witnesses all out here. Maybe when I'm dead someday. No, okay. Don't kill me off for it, it's not Got worth it. it. <laughs> well, should I open this first? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just cleaning She made me go to four appointments with her oh, to, to learn how to do her dress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Honestly, nothing. I didn't know that I was going to have an expert Can here. Can you get some that I'm doing absolutely nothing.
the trash bag. <laughs> I heard you forgot your bedtime. Don't know where it is. <laughs> Don't know where it is. This is nice. I was told we were gonna keep that on the wraps. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. I think it's the there we go. Nice. Oh, I can sort of breathe. One, two, three, look at me. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> no, it's actually a video. I I mean, yeah. I'm a <laughs> Look at his perfect hair. Oh, his hair is amazing. You've got some good hair. <laughs> how are you right, so good roll. looking all the time? Oh. I don't even know how you do it. Okay. You make me laugh. That's what she wants. One, two, three, roll the ball. She's a hell of a writer, man. She makes everybody cry. Die on escalators than anything else every year, like car crashes and everything. Escalators. Ow. Ow. And you were checking. Ow.